welcome to my channel if you like my videos then kindly subscribe like and watch thank you problem 4.14 the statement of problem is that solve problem 4.13 using assuming the beam is bent about vertical axis by a couple of 4 kN. Now this problem, the procedure of this problem is same as problem 4.13 but now it is given that the moment is about y axis. So we have, we are given m, the value of my. So my is 4 kN into meter. So again stress is equal to, uh, sigma is equal to mc divided by i so we will find the moment of inertia now so we will find the now we will find moment of inertia about y axis so this will be its y axis so we have to find the moment of inertia about this y axis so in that case this will be our total width that is equal to 84 this is total width and this is equal to 84 and this is the height of beam which is equal to 64 clear uh, so we will solve it uh, that is equal to 1 over 12 bh cube b is total 84 and height is 64 whole cube minus you will have to subtract these two portions as well this portion and this portion because 84 is total height and 64 is total you can also do it by using segment that will be that will become lengthy so it's easy to um, find the moment of inertia for whole this 64 height and 84 weight and you have to subtract this portion and this portion so for that i have to subtract that 1 over 12 now its total width is 24 and plus this is 24 so uh, again writing separately I will just write in shortcut form that is equal to 1 over 24 into 24 and total height is 40 mm because this is total 40 clear so 40 cube you can write it separately as well 1 over 12 24 into 40 cube plus uh, minus 1 over 24 into 40 cube but that will give you the same answer so iy comes out to be 1.66 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter 4. Now of this problem if you I uh, will just delete these things extra things. Now if you look at this is the shaded portion. This is the shaded portion and we have to find the stress in this portion. So let we will find this point is for example d and this point is for example at this this point is e so we will find the stress at point d which is sigma d and stress at point e that is sigma e so uh, let's solve that stress at point d is equal to mc divided by iy now m is also 4 and C is this distance from this point till this point and that is total 32, 20 plus 12, 32 and that 32 is 0.032 divided by IY is 1.66 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 so stress at point D comes out to be 76.81 mega Pascal so this is stress at point D now stress at point E that is also equal to MC divided by I Y now M is 4 C is distance from this axis to the point E and this is total 20 so that is equal to 0 0.020 divided by I is 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 6 so when you solve that sigma e comes out to be 48.01 mega pascal 48.01 mega pascal so these are the stresses at the respective points now uh, we will see that this is let's say this is 
portion one this is one this is portion one and this is portion two so area of portion one will be equal to 12 into 44 again that that is same that is equal to 528 into 10 raised to power minus 6 square meter so this is 12 and this total height is 44 so this is area a1 now area a2 which is equal to which is this so this is it's 20 this distance is 20 and this distance is also 20 so area of a2 will be equal to 20 into 20 that is millimeter this is millimeter and uh, that will give you 400 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 you have to convert into meter square now we have area a1 and a2 now stress at this portion 1 that is average stress now we will take the average stress at portion 1 now you can see that in portion 1 this sigma d and sigma e both lies so we will take the average stress of sigma d and sigma e that is equal to half of sigma d plus sigma e so you have to put the value that is equal to 1 over 2 into 76 point 8.1 plus 48.01 so sigma average at portion 1 I will write it 1 that is equal to 62.41 mega Pascal so this is the average stress that is available at portion 1 so for finding the force we know that force at portion 1 will be equal to average stress at 1 into area 1. So 62.41 into 528 in 10 to the power minus 6 that will give you 439 32.9 kilonewton so this is the force f1 that is acting in portion 1 now we will find the stress at portion 2 now in portion 2 you can see that only stress is acting is sigma e so every stress for portion 2 will be equal to half of stress at point e that is equal to 1 over 2 into sigma e is 48 point 0, 1 and that gives you 24.005 mega pascal again uh, force at portion 2 is equal to average stress at point 2 into area 2 so you have to put the value 24.005 into area 2 is 400 into 10 to the power minus 6 so if you calculate you will get the value of force at portion 2 will be equal to 9.6 kilo newton now total stress total force in the shaded area total force in shaded area is equal to f1 plus f2 which is equal to 32.9 plus 9.6 kilo newton and that gave you 42.6 kilo newton 42.6 kilo newton so this is f total so this much force is applied on the shaded portion so in short conclusion is that this is the shaded portion all these are the shaded portion and the total force acting on this shaded portion ft is equal to 42.6 kilo newton this is the answer of this question thank you for watching the video if you, if you like my video kindly subscribe share and Watch the videos.